Hi! I hope you all are having a good day today. I want to share with you my newest painting. It's of a giraffe from the Tanganyika Wildlife Park in Goddard, Kansas. And how I start out with my paintings is I always go to the zoo and I take photographs of the animals. Well, I guess not always, but I try to when I can. Some animals there aren't in zoos anywhere around where I live. Um, for instance, like koalas or pandas. So I've had to use photos that other people gave me permission to use as a basis for my painting. But most of the time, if I can, I try to go there myself and take the photos. I thought I'd show you guys today my camera that I use. Um, I've also taught myself how to be a photographer, although I'm not a very good one, I don't think. I mean, I try, I, can, I do enough to get by. Um, I do a lot of, uh, you know, telephoto lens, uh, action photography, because the animals are moving. And so I kind of know how to do that, but I'm not like a portrait photographer necessarily of people or anything like that. I just, I've picked up what skills I need to be able to photograph the animals well so that I can use them as references for paintings. I'm going to show you some close-up shots now so you can see all the details of the painting. I really like how this one turned out. I used a primary color scheme, but I used a lot of pastels and muted primary colors. And it turns out that primary colors just always seem to go together well. <laughs> so, so it was fun for me to do this one and I, I usually paint super bright fluorescent colors. So it's fun for me sometimes to dial everything back and not use every single color and, and go a little more muted just because I, I, can, I can make the animals look a little more realistic this way. And, and it's just, I love trying out different things. So yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to see more of my zoo animal art, so I've painted, I think around 22 zoo animals so far. Um, I've posted a link in the description area of this video and you'll find prints of this painting and my other paintings there as well. All right, see you next time.